Hi everyone, I uh, just wanted to let you know how the Tiny G 3040 CNC was coming. Um, I've gotten more parts done today. Uh, I just got the spindle mounted. I just wanted to show you real quickly um, what got done. So here we are. First off, you think my spindle's too big? It might be too big. Um, but my whole plan with this, uh, the motors are too big, the spindle's too big, but I didn't want to buy parts twice, and I won't be keeping this machine hopefully all that long. I'm going to start work on my own, but since I'm new to CNC, I wanted something that was proven that actually worked, at least worked okay, and then I also didn't have any of the equipment needed to make new parts. So hopefully this will let me make brackets and things for the new machine. One of the big reasons I got such a large spindle uh, and large motors was I plan on doing a fair amount out of aluminum with this. So, uh, first things first, nothing that you see here is done correctly. So if you're, um, if you're here, you know, it's kind of a tutorial thing. Uh, probably don't do anything that I've done. For example, my, my connections aren't great. My collets actually isn't the right size for that bit. Those aren't really hold downs. Um, I've got wires running around to a VFD. Uh, it's just, it's all a mess, but uh, it's proof of concept at this point to see if it works. So, right now we have the computer running Chili Pepper. Uh, it's just got the demo code in there. That just goes to our Tiny G board. The motors leads obviously just go to the motors. Um, these are the limit switches. I actually don't have a Z negative switch because I cannot figure out a way to mount it. Uh, I'll probably have to make a little bracket or something. I'm using these inductive proximity sensors uh, that I picked up from work. They were kind of just trash there, so I figured I'd reuse them here. But they've got a little bit of work to do, so I can't find a way to mount that one. Uh, this sensor was actually, it's kind of a long story, but I fried the input for the Z-Max. I've ordered a new uh, AT Mega chip, and the people up at work have all the the reflow ovens and everything that they need to replace that chip for me so i'm going to try that before i go out and buy a whole new board and so we have our 2.2 kilowatt that's three horsepower water cooled spindle i don't have the water cooling hooked up yet i'm just going to do some quick things with it hopefully i won't really need any cooling and then that is powered by the vfd which is a hitachi nes1 uh, brand VFD. It's supposed to be pretty nice. Uh, I think it was 240 bucks online, new, so yeah, that's pretty good. Other than that, uh, I've got just a little cheap bit in here that I also picked up from work. Focus. There we go. Um, it's just a little Proxon bit that was going to be thrown away because it's useless and it's an odd size, um, but I figured it would be fun for testing here. So, I think that's it. Spindle from eBay, spindle mount from eBay. Oh, I did. I did have to modify the the mount that it comes with. It comes with a mount for a, I believe it's a 60 millimeter spindle. You can see it right back in there. So I had the guys at the machine shop uh, cut it off and face it for me, and then we made up this plate. So this plate bolts into there. And then this mount bolts into this plate. So I've I've jogged it around a little bit, and it all, you know, it all seems to work. It doesn't, uh, and it doesn't have any problem moving the motor around. So we're gonna try. Go to zero here. Oh my! I didn't mean zero. And just jam that right in there. See that? I actually set on. There we go. I set zero down below the board because I believe that's the way the code is set up. It looks like it's engraving basically right at zero, so I want it to run into the board. See, this is why you, you use cheap, replaceable bits to begin with because you're inevitably going to break them. At least I will. So. Turn on the spindle here, which I'm amazed how quiet it is without having a fan.
So that's full speed there. We'll go full speed, why not? I am going to put on my safety glasses. <laughs> And I've not actually tried this yet, so uh, we'll get to see together whether this actually works or not. So uh, let me just hit play here and we'll see how it goes. see that the bit is actually way too big for this code, so it's kind of destroying the letters, but it's actually working. And making a whole lot of dust. feeling the spindle right now and it's still very much room temperature. this over here. Well, I would say that was a success. Obviously our, uh, oh no, well, I've just destroyed it now. Our speeds and feeds aren't right. In fact, I'm not even sure what this bit is made for. But yeah, it totally worked. Uh, didn't seem to have any problem moving the motor around. I'm still going to have to get some faster g-code in here to really to really crank this thing around and uh, and see if it can keep up actually the motors unfortunately with the limit of 30 volts on the tiny g I can actually only run them at I want to say it's 12 revolutions per second I don't remember the math for the ball screws but it's only something like an inch and a half two inches per second is the maximum speed for these so, I mean, that's, we'll, we'll see how it all goes. Like I said, this is, this is by far where I want to be with CNC here in the next oh, year or so. But, you know, it's working and I'm learning things. Uh, it's a pretty cheap way to get started. Uh, I'll eventually have to move away from the tiny G and into gecko drives or, you know, something else so I can get, I think what we're limited to about two and a half amps here. These are, I think these are three and a half amp motors and we're limited to 30 volts i'd really like to be running these probably double that uh, get a bit more speed out of them but you know hey for now it works and if things take a little longer to get done that's fine uh, i don't have anything else to do so all right i guess that's uh that's it for today it's a good day's worth of progress i've got a lot of work to do to get this into a really usable point but uh Stay tuned, and we'll have some more updates later. Bye.